All right, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our eLotus webinar today. My name is Donna, and I will be your host and your moderator. For over two decades, eLotus has been your trusted source for TCM continuing education for acupuncturists. We offer the largest selection of online CU courses and with over 3,000 CE hours. If you are new to eLotus, remember to sign up today for an eLotus account to receive a free once year course as a welcome gift. This offer is valid for new accounts only. And can you believe it? What a wild year. So much has happened this year, and let's be honest, it's been a little nuts. With the holidays around the corner, if you're still in need of live CEUs, we do have one last weekend coming up, and it's with Tamara Willingham. And today is a preview of this weekend's class. Plus, our 2021 schedule is up as well. So you can visit our website to view that too. And just to let you guys know, our 2021 schedule is not complete yet. We, You can have a little sneak preview, but we are currently adding to it. So we hope you enjoy our, what we have in store. Here in California is another lockdown on the way. And actually, it's actually in it's now it's here <laughs> so if you have free time this holiday or if your state is also on lockdown why not brush up on your tcm knowledge if you're a big fan of master dome or would like to learn more about it you can visit our e-lotus car website this website is the ultimate tcm point learning tool plus you can also view traditional points we're still adding new pictures for each point, so please do look out for that. With the extra time that we have uh, because of the lockdown, then I'll be busy working on those pictures for you guys. In addition to our eLotus core, we have free articles you can read. If you want a great reference guide for TCM points, I suggest looking at the Jade Dragon verse. I'll provide the link for you once I get back to my computer. We also... We'll be hosting our last free eight-hour training, so be sure to stick around until the end for more information. Okay, that takes care of a few housekeeping. Here's a quick introduction of Tamara Willingham. She is a highly successful practitioner and business owner behind Tamara TCM Acupuncture and Herbs. With a busy practice and an even busier family life, including four children ranging from baby to teenager, Tamara leads a fun and active life. The business model she has created allows for working at a high level while maintaining the flexibility to see patients effectively, protecting the balance between her fast-paced professional and home lives. Her talent for utilizing the herbal dispensary to both help patients and harness a lucrative additional stream of income for the business has made Tamara very prosperous locally and beyond. And she's ready to share all that with you guys. So let's go ahead and welcome Tamara. And Tamara, can you do a quick, one last quick check on your end? I'll stop my PowerPoint from my end and you can share your PowerPoint by sharing your screen. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and take over. Awesome. Hello. Hi, Donna. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I do want to see the chat. Um, how is everybody? Happy Wednesday. Um, looks like we have people from all over. I wish um, I was able to see you guys, and I wish I was not sitting in front of this computer, but hey, this is what we have. This is our situation. So, um, I'm going to try to make it as exciting and interesting as possible and um, obviously informational. The whole reason I, um, can you guys hear me okay? Is everything good? Um, the whole reason I decided to, to do this, um, especially being in December, um, I have four children. I'm very, very busy. Um, it's, and to give that time up from the family to, you know, write the class or to be here and be able to do this is because um, I full heartedly believe in this medicine and in all of you 
and the world needs you. So I'm here to share my passion and I hope to inspire you and bring everything. I need to be changing my slides right now. How do I do that? Where's the button for that? Is this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to figure this thing out, don't you worry. Yeah, that's going to happen. I can make it smaller. One second, guys. Oh, yeah, so here's my title to my class. That's not really all that exciting. Um, but how do I change it? The arrow button, this arrow button, this arrow button. I really wish I could see you guys or get, like, your questions and comments. I wanted this to be, and I do want it to be, like, this weekend, um, just click all right here it is beautiful my goal is to inspire you all right and help you find your way your vision connect with that and get it out in the world right so that's being in your authentic self perfect time for that it's what winter water element wisdom authentic self um and yeah, so really, truly, I believe that our communities need us. Um, I'm in Toledo, Ohio, specifically Maumee, Ohio. Um, that's Northern Ohio, right underneath the Great Lakes. Um, we're not at lockdown status, like Donna was saying in California. I'm super sorry to hear that. The whole world is really hurting right now um, with this, you know, pandemic, this COVID thing on top of what it's cold and flu season but guess what this is our specialty we treat viruses guys that's what we do yes we do so we can help people we can help build the immune system so I guess in thinking about um where maybe you're at um I guess I think bridge the gap between like you have all this wisdom all this TCM wisdom, and how do you get that to the next level? How do you share that with your patients? Or how do you even get patients? I can help you with all that. I can share my story, how I got started, and um, what I did, and how that worked for me. But here's the thing. What worked for me in my way, or what I might say to somebody, might be different. My vision of the herbs might be different than your vision of the herbs. So I want you, I want to help you discover your your truth and how to develop that and how to get it out into the community and make this great change help people people are suffering and i'm going to just simple herbs i'm going to try to keep it simple like people present like this and this is the formula i use and this is why okay and we can talk about that i want to answer your questions if you have like <laughs> I'm seriously i am seriously powerpoint challenged Hey, there I am. Mommy, check out my website, guys. When we got locked down in April this year, I redid my website. So go check that out. It's pretty fancy. I have a web store on there. And I also um, have a lot of testimonies on there that are very, very good for marketing. So check it out. All right. Um, so who am I? I'm Tamara Willingham. <laughs> and my story, well, you guys... This is something I want you to be asking yourself. I'm going to tell you quickly who I am in a nutshell, because it could be a long story. But um, my story on the why I'm here, um, I was injured, car accident, and I ended up um, getting into massage therapy school. Um, and that's when I heard about five element acupuncture. For the first time, I didn't really know anything about acupuncture until I was taking this class and I listened to every single word that that woman said. And I was 23 years old and I was like, whoa, fascinated. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that someday. And um, then at the age of 31, I did. I did massage therapy, I had my own practice and I just, I had the calling, right? I had the bug and I really, really wanted to learn this medicine. And 
there was a lot of things that led me to Bastyr University um, in Seattle, Washington. So that's where I ended up. I sold my practice and almost everything I owned. I moved across the country with my two dogs and just a small box of metal, a small metal box of things like my bed and clothes. Got rid of some things I probably shouldn't have, but didn't think that through too well. But at any rate, here we are. It was a long time ago. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, so um, that was how I got started. I was lit with this passion. I was so interested and I uh, went through school and I decided I could have gone anywhere in the world. You guys, that's just the way I played my cards, the uh, way I lived my life. And then I, um, what I couldn't ever get away from was that my family was here and the medicine wasn't. And so with that in mind, I moved home because I felt that this community was underserved and I wanted to bring this option of medicine to people. And why, what's my point in all that? It's to serve, that's, that's who I am and that's why I'm here. I want to be of service of the community. And uh, check out this quote right here. Correct your mind, your life will fall into place. Love that, I love that. Um, So you guys, you guys need to write this stuff down and I want you to do this and I want to talk about this. Like I want to hear about you guys and I want to know about why you're here. I would really like to see your beautiful faces um, and, you know, get to know you. But I guess I want to do the best that I can. And I don't know right now, like the chat's down or whatever, because I can't see the slide. So maybe after today, I'll um, do some investigating on how I can change up the format so that this weekend we can do our best to actually be together and create this collective consciousness of why we're here. And like, this is so important. Um, and sharing that and learning right from each other It'd be super awesome. I'm super excited. This follow your dreams mountain card was from one of my teachers. I just, I just, he just sent me that this year. Very, very sweet. He was happy for me. All right. This is some of my greatest advice watch Kung Fu Panda, all three of them. This is me sitting on my couch with some little acupuncture points. I give myself acupuncture, you guys, all the time. How's your practice for your acupuncture? What are you guys doing to take care of yourself? You need to, you need to have, if you don't have at least five things that you do for yourself to take care of yourself, mentally, physically, spiritually, that's your work on it, okay? You have to do that. And seriously, watch Kung Fu Panda because it's amazing. Have you seen this movie, you guys? It's so great. There's the message. There's so much inspiration, right? What's in the scroll? What's the magic ingredient? Uh-huh. And then I mean the third one. I can't even. All three are so, so good. So good. I love them. My kids love them, too. Thank goodness, because otherwise we'd be fighting over the TV. Um, so... <laughs> Between writing this class, we've got Christmas going on, right? We were out, that that literally was, I was, went out shopping for a Christmas tree. We go to the Christmas tree farm and then see Santa and uh, I dropped the kids off. And then I went to work, <laughs> came to the office and was writing this weekend class. Um, but these are my four kids. Victoria is the youngest at two and a half. Alexander is four and a half. Ruby here is 13, just turned, and Ian is 15 and a half, and they're great. They're lovely. But it's busy, y'all. If you guys don't have kids, I'm going to tell you something. It's intense. My work is my leisure time. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I come to work to relax, have a little private time, and that's with me running a very busy practice. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else do I have for you guys today? How's your Christmas shopping going? Is everybody ready? Oh, what happened? I hit the wrong button. I can't even. Seriously. Maybe that, is it this one? Oh, so here, this is one of my favorite things. Connect before you correct. I use this all the time. I use this at home. I use this at the office. I use this with my patients. This is like, that's really important, right? You have to connect before you correct. You have to connect with people before you can explain how you can help them. Why do they wanna take your herbs? Why do they wanna come and see you for acupuncture? Um, 
Oh well, yeah, and with you know those of you that are in lockdown, um, geez, we can talk about ways that you can keep working um, with the herbs. All right, uh, keep your pharmacies open. Do telehealth. Be talking to people on the phone. People need lockdowns are not good for mental health, you guys. We've got a serious situation going on right now, and we can help. Okay, so. This is my friend, Scott McBride. So CCT, have you guys heard of this energy meditation? Okay, because it's awesome. And so I'm going to actually have Scott come in this weekend, probably Friday at some point and um, do a meditation for us. It's super, super amazing stuff. If you guys have not had a chance, if you haven't had exposure to this, um, this energy work, it's amazing. I've known Scott my entire my entire nine years, of, I'm almost nine years of practice, guys. Um, I, I met him in the first year when I moved back in a BNI group. And he helped me actually with developing a lot of systems as far as creating the, you know, he actually just was typing in <laughs> all my notes because I was so busy. I needed some, I needed help with that immediately. And then as we grew, he, um, he was a huge asset. And then as far as um, this energy work and what it's done for me, I can give you I could give you countless stories, but in a simple way, literally my work meeting, Scott did a meditation for us, honestly, probably like 10, 15 minutes. And um, it was, it was about the golden spiral. <laughs> Have you guys heard of this? Amazing. It's really like Dantian energy, all about kidney wisdom, connecting like straight to the heart um, and powerful. Like the changes that I've experienced since i did that meditation was that I literally was able to do um, a lot of work on the PowerPoint and getting ready for the class very, very easily. I've been able to stay in integrity more with the family, getting all, you know, it's crazy with teenagers and toddlers and then the business and then my husband and then, you know, my family, all the other friends, like just life, right? Like all the things. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> I'm like, life's nuts right now. At any rate, this this energy work, this is something that you guys can do and it will immediately help you. So I'm going to have Scott come in and have you experience that because it, honestly, you guys, it's amazing. And I want you guys to know all the awesomeness that I know. Um, so, yeah. All right, yo, my beautiful people. Anything else? I can't see Donna. Can you bring Donna? Can you make her come up? I gotta go. I gotta go home and pick up my kids. I think we're all set, right? Perfect. Thank you, Tamar, for this wonderful one hour introduction to your class and to you. I'm really bummed that you can't be here. I promised you California weather in December, and who knew that all this would be happening? Um, hopefully, in the future, we will actually get to have an in person class and get to see each other and just get rid of this weird vibe that's been going around because of COVID. Yeah. And sounds great. Let's do it. You know. <laughs> And thank you guys all for also being here, too. And I wanted to make a comment about pu'er tea. If you've ever been to a Chinese restaurant where they're serving you food and stuff, a lot of the Chinese restaurants, this isn't the food that we typically eat at home. So it's a lot of greasy food and oily and fried. And they give you pu'er tea to drink it so that it's easy on the digestion and then you don't walk around bloated and, and you know, not feeling so good. And also, a fun fact, if you... Um, if you've ever seen like old men rub their belly clockwise, it's helping with digestion or they'll slap it after they, after they eat. So you can do that too. If you like, it will, I guess, help with blood circulation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and so that's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much. And we will see you this weekend for tomorrow's full weekend class. Bye.